What's going on, guys? This is Bruce Madsen, your host of the show, Metric Scout Fantasy Football. It's a fantasy football show that we analyze NFL players, college prospects by the numbers, and we also analyze that tape. Pretty much, just try to look at everything objectively from outside in and from the inside out, just making sure we're getting everything right. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your homies. Some I gotta say every episode because that's what people does. It helps grow the channel. It's just, just a phrase I gotta do. And you know it too. You hear it on everybody's YouTube channel, cooking shows, football shows, video game shows. It's, it's, it's just part of the process. But news hit today. And it's not big, it's not a big deal. But it's a big deal to some people, especially social media, Twitter. It's been talked about all day. It's been ran to the ground. It's been ran to the ground all off season. It's been ran to the ground latter part of the season. And we finally got a wait for Devonta Smith, weighed in at 166 pounds. Four pounds less than what we were projecting him out as 170. So what does this mean? Pretty much nothing. We have not an extreme enough data point to really make a change one way or another. So my thought process with Devonta Smith has not moved. This did not move the needle either way for me. I still have him ranked the same. My analysis from my previous videos, check them in the archives, are the same. I'm not going in another film breakdown, I'm not breaking down his analysis right now of his st stats and stuff. That's just not what I'm here to do. I'm just here to talk about his weight. That's just the popular thing to do right now. And I'm dropping a video because I'm cooler than those other guys you're listening to because they're just tweeting about it. 166 pounds, not a big deal. Still have him ranked where I am got him ranked. And it may be lower than some, and it's also higher than some. There's some people fading him to like wide receiver 11, 12, 13, or, or not even on their list because they're, they're like, he's 170 or less, I'm out. I'm looking things objectively here. That's what we do on this channel. And the red flags are obvious. You cannot ignore them. Older wide receiver, late breakout age, undersized. We got a list of red flags. When you have a list of red flags, you don't ignore them. You act on them. And also when you see a guy win the Heisman, hyper productive, first round asset, you act on it. So I think where I got him ranked in my wide receiver video that I posted a couple days ago is probably appropriate. And my thought process of how his career could pan out is appropriate. And I've mentioned that in many videos. I think he's going to have a decent career. He may not deliver the ROI that we're, we're looking at for a guy with this much publicity coming out for the draft. He he may not be a year in, year out wide receiver one, top five guy, but he should have or projected to have maybe a couple thousand yard seasons, maybe some low points, maybe some high points, but really just have a good career. Think of a guy maybe like a Tyler Boyd or something like that. Thousand yard seasons, steady eddy production. That's probably what we're going to get. And you know what? The people on this side of the spectrum, on the high, overly high, they're, they're going to be cool with that. And the people on the on the low, they're going to be cool with that too because they're yapping about different stuff here. And if we get the middle, they're both going to be cool. And that's going to be – that's what I'm rooting for because I don't want to think that's hilarious. I think he's a good player. I think he does good things on tape. I'm just not – overvaluing and I'm not undervaluing him. I'm just right in the middle. So I'm boring, I think. I'm boring. I'm I'm usually the most hyperbole guy, hyperperbole, high hyperbole. I'm perbole on these players as much as possible, but Devonta Smith is, is just I just just playing common sense here to be an objective and I'm just playing the odds. I, I just that's just what I see out of him. There is a story that I kind of play with this 170 pound thing with him. And it doesn't affect my analysis, but I kind of want to talk about it. It's just, he came out to his pro day, stepped up to the microphone, wherever he was doing, wherever he was being interviewed at, and he was like, I'm 170 pounds. And he has this quote, like, some people approach it as, oh yes, he's too little, so it ain't much, I gotta do. When we get out here there, it's... A whole different story. So he's saying that it doesn't matter what size I'm at. It doesn't matter. It's a whole different story when I'm field. I'm still going to ball. 
now that I think about this, why does it matter where you where you weigh at? If you're gonna just walk up to people, just tell people you're 170, why don't you just hit that scale and prove it? Why don't you measure in like with your teammates? Why don't you do that? Why do you have to hide this? Why can't you just be up front? You go 170, you weigh in at 166, at the uh, indie medical combine or whatever you want to call it to me psychologically reading him reading the tea leaves and i could be wrong i could be very wrong on this but i think it matters to him i think wayne 170 i think he knows in the back of his head that that could be a factor for him that could be a red flag i think he knows that and i think him saying statements like that i think it doesn't matter i don't think it matters i I think he has doubt in him. I just reading this and him not weighing in at the pro day. If he weighed in at the pro day and said, "Bring it, I'm 166, 165, I'm 172, whatever, I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show up. I'm game." And he weighs in, and that's it. Gets measured, and then he gets measured at the ND combine, the medical combine at 166. The numbers are gonna come out anyways. It's just weird to me. And then another thing about this is that he spent all this time at Alabama, obviously a good program. I think you know this by now, but did not put on any weight. I mean, he might have gotten smaller. And I get it to be successful in what he was doing. He didn't need to. Obviously, with what he did that last year, winning a Heisman, hyperproductive, but he knew he was going out for the draft. He knew he needed to increase his draft stock. He didn't go out for the draft last year because he wanted to come back, prove himself more during senior season. He had all that time, and he knew the weight was an issue. He knew it is. He knows that NFL prospects are more likely to be successful at a certain weight threshold, and I guarantee it, people's told him this, and he did not improve in this area, especially getting ready for the draft. He's just hanging out lanky and not really improving this aspect of his game. And it's an easy part to improve, and it's not going to really impact his other abilities that he does well. And I just don't understand it. You have all this time to get ready for this major job interview. You need to get your resume together. You need to get your materials together. You need to show up on time. And then the one thing you do is you don't show up with your tie on. This is what he's doing. He's not showing up with his tie on to, to his interview right now. All he had to do was slam some weights, drink some protein shakes, put on some LBs. I mean, going from 166 to 175 isn't that hard. Especially when you're an athlete with his build. He's got enough on his frame to be able to pack on some weight. I don't understand why you don't improve this. It's not... I mean, it is hard. It is some work. But at the same time, for a first-round prospect, for a prospect that's going to be a wide receiver one year in and year out, you sh that, that kind of work should be easy. I mean, I don't even expect you to be a 200-pounder, 190 I just want to see some improvement, 175, 180, 182, and I'm not dropping him in my ranks. It's just something you got to notice here, and I think that is playing an impact on him mentally. That's why he's not weighing in his pro day. That's why he's just telling people he's 170 pounds. That's why he's having to make these statements, and obviously everything's working out for him at the collegiate level and there's a good chance that he's going to have a good career at the NFL level but when you think about this trail of breadcrumbs that he's leaving here you know it's in his head it's it definitely is we we don't just don't know why he didn't improve it I know it's not a big deal to his production at Alabama but it is a big deal to his draft stock if he weighed in at 180, 185 pounds, which he had plenty of time to do to impact this, you're talking more money in his pocket. You're talking NFL teams taking him more seriously. You're talking potential being the first wide receiver selected off the board because you can't ignore that Heisman season. You can't ignore what he did last year. I'm not ignoring it. If I did, and after looking at all these red flags, I would have faded him so much more. But I got a good ranking on him, I feel like. And it's just, I think he's leaving some meat on the bone here. 
And I think this is on him. I think he could have pushed himself a little bit more in this department, especially in the offseason, especially last offseason. He knew he came back for a senior year for a reason. He did well. It, but this was a part of it. You need to do everything in your power, do whatever it takes to Im- improve. And this was a spot that didn't happen. And that, that's the one thing that, that current concerns me. And it should be considered more in his profile, more of a red flag. I, I, I'm throwing that in as another red flag. Like, why didn't you improve on this? Like, you knew this is impacting your draft stock. You knew this was important. For your value, I'm not talking for fantasy. I'm talking for real NFL value. That's just impacting maybe millions of dollars for this dude. And it would not impact his play. And it it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. So if he's not willing to do this, what else is he not willing to do too? And it was just so many questions. But I just want to leave this video letting you guys know, one, I did not change my ranking on him after hearing he was four pounds lighter than what we thought. To check out all the videos I have on Devonta Smith. My analysis, my feelings for him has not changed. So if you want to hear my breakdown on him, check those out. And thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for what listen, watching, listening, hearing me rant on these players for 10, 15 minutes on end and getting my thoughts out there. It means a lot to me. If you're still with me this long, hit that subscribe button because obviously I was entertaining enough for you and I drop videos left and right. I'm bringing the heat. Ring that bell. Tell your homies and I'll catch you next time.